the other one wasn't the National League playoff game seven. Montreal Expos and the Atlanta Braves. Last game is seen. Texas Rangers beat the Toronto Blue Jays 13 to 5. Now we get to see the Mont Montreal and Atlanta. So whoever wins this game is going to be playing against it says Arlington, which is the Texas Rangers. Once again, computer versus computer. Because I only play the White Sox and my team did not make it. Montreal Expos play the second game of the season against the Rockies and they won 4 to 2. The Atlanta Braves played against the Houston Astros and beat them 6 to 5. So we get to see both these two teams play and win. For the other two teams, Toronto and Texas, we've seen both of them get beat by me as the White Sox. Let's see, played in the American League. Twelve series, we're going to be doing it the same as the playoffs. I'm going to skip it to Game Seven. So it'll be a one-game elimination. All these three games played in a row, so I don't have to go through the hassles of using the password, which is really annoying. Atlanta Braves are usually one of the best teams in this game. I got my other battery charging right now, the battery that I used for the last game. I'm going to readjust my camera. Ooh, that was a fail. Go 
after I get the web series done, I'm going to go ahead and play some Spy vs. Spy. Put some North and South. I mentioned one of my videos the other day that for my 500th video upload I plan on doing like a personal bi like autobiography of video games. So pretty much I'll be showing like my experience of like the first Atari game I played. The first, you know, I'll be showing video clips of these games. The first Nintendo games, all my personal experiences playing with friends, some games playing up by myself. always had the video game systems first, like the Atari 2600. Played it, liked it, so I wanted one for Christmas and got one. Same thing with the Nintendo. Super Nintendo, now that was just at the time because our Nintendo was starting to experience problems due to age. That's Super Nintendo. I wonder more detail when I actually do the video. I'm going to try finding some pictures of myself as a kid with my Nintendo, but I don't know if I have any. I really don't think I have any pictures of me playing video games or with any games or anything. Come to think of it. I'm lucky to, to have grown up in the late 70s and the 80s, early 90s. I was born in 76, so I was a kid in the 80s, teenager in the 90s. I had the fortunate pleasure of playing Atari, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. When I was an adult and I got the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation and the PS2 and the Wii. And the Wii. Oh. Yeah, it's weird talking to some of the guys at work, talking about video games and some of you guys have never played the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, it's like the first system they remember is the Nintendo, Nintendo 64. And it's hard to believe I was like 20, 20 years old when I got my N64. And it's crazy that you realize how old you are when you're working with these guys that are that young.
once I finish my hockey season and football season, I won't have much to do if getting bored. I just have to keep on buying more and more games to upload. I need to put up some shelves in my room so I got room for them. Yeah, about the Retro Duel Portable, that was actually the very first video upload I did was about, about the Retro Duel Portable, and I'm not quite as happy with it as I was then. So I've seen quite a few problems on it. Mostly audio problems, a lot of the games, that doesn't, they just don't sound right. One of the worst problems is, in Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario Bros. 2 does not work on the Retro Duel Portable. For some reason, when it gets to the character select screen, you select your character, and the screen just goes blank. I tried it over and over again, and just the same thing. And it only happens on that system. I got the Retron 3, which I'm using right now for the Super Nintendo. It plays Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis games. But I noticed some of the Nintendo games don't don't want to work on it, so then I recently got just the original Retron, which plays only NES games, and really haven't had any problems with that yet. You see, that system is focused mainly on Nintendo games, so it's safe to assume that it's, they're going to work better on that. This one, they were focusing on three different video game systems. The Super Nintendo obviously looks pretty good. I've been using this Retro 3 for all my Super Nintendo games. And as we can see, I haven't had really any problems. Other than the fact that I'm still not good enough to beat half the games. That's my biggest downfall when it comes to video games is I don't have the patience to play many games. I watch these AVGN videos and it's like, he'll play a game he hates and he'll play it all the way to the end. It's like, I, I just would never have the patience to do that to a game that I hate. That one's gone. Right down the stairwell. Oh, I hit some hot dog vendor. Right. Most of the games you've seen me beat on my channel are games that I've been able to beat for years. Except for Maniac Mansion. I used to rent that when I was a kid all the time and I could never figure out what to do. It wasn't until recently when I bought the game and the system that I watched someone else's video to learn what to do in the game. And I was able to pass it. That's pretty much all that game is about is like trying to figure out you gotta do one thing to get something else. You gotta find these keys to unlock doors. And it's like knowing what to do is really hard. You're trying to figure it out. It's like once you figure out what you're doing, it's real easy. Should do another upload on the game Paperboy. I had, I've actually, that is one game I've recently beaten that I never beat as a kid. And in order to beat that, all you have to do is keep playing and make it a complete week through the game without losing all your lives. There's really nothing spectacular at the end. Usually if you die three times, it'll say, Paperboy calls it quits. If you beat the game, the newspaper will say, paper, say something like, Paperboy. Paperboy re retires.
Another game I might do is Tap Gun. I think what I'm going to do is try doing Tap Gun and Paperboy full uploads, but I want to be able to beat the game, so if I don't beat it, I'll delete it and won't upload it. I keep trying to beat them, because older games that I can beat, it's just sometimes it's hard to do. Also so exciting in my recent upload of A Bobo's Big Adventure. I beat it for the first time on a recording. And this always really exciting when you're recording it and you beat a game for the first time. Of course, that's the only time it happened, but it happened kind of... I think the last time I was playing A Bobo's Big Adventure, I passed a stage that I couldn't beat before. really fun one. It's got nine stages. Each stage is from a different NES game. All the characters are from multiple NES games. And it pretty much follows tradition with the Nintendo as far as gameplay, strategy. And it's really fun because some of those boards are kind of hard to beat. But they're not impossibly hard, like, they weren't designed to be real hard, they're designed where you play them and you figure out the strategy, and you get good at them. Goes through the fence. for my last game's up to 60% charged already. This camera really drains the battery down. It's like, the battery life's like one hour and it's almost drained. See, my old camera, the one that I first did in my first, like, 300 video uploads on or so. Maybe even more than that. But anyways, I used my phone. I am the Samsung Galaxy phone for that. On a full charge, I can get like two hours worth of videos before I get down to about half charge. By that point, I would plug my phone in and record so it'd be charging as it's recording, which is pretty cool.
that was the advantage of that one, but the advantage of this camera, picture quality is a lot better. That's probably about it, except for it's waterproof, but we don't really have to worry about water while recording. The disadvantages of this camera is that the battery drains down real quick. And since the picture quality is so much better, it takes a lot longer to upload the video. Well, it even takes longer to transfer videos from my camera to my computer, but, you know, maybe like a few minutes. And it takes like four hours to upload a one hour video. My old camera took one hour for a one hour video. I had like a half hour video, it took a half hour to upload. And another thing, charging the battery used to take forever in this thing. I'd have plugged into my computer waiting for it to charge and take like three, four hours. Now I got an independent battery charger which charges it up within like half hour. So that way I can use about a second battery too, by the way. So that way I can use one battery while charging the other. Moises. That was gone. Get close to tying it up. Wouldn't it be crazy if like the World Series went into like extra innings for like 20 innings or something? We've seen one game go into extra innings that was the Cubs and Padres. Got up to like the 16th inning now score. It was so boring that I decided to quit the game at that point. Now, I wouldn't mind a game going into extra innings if both teams kept scoring back and forth. Montreal's not hitting on the to 8. Figure some idiots got to cut their grass while I'm recording.
after I'm done with my whole football and hockey season, get bored, I'm going to do record all my games in order on my tapes, and I might use that to do my commentary videos. So the Atlanta Braves are going to the World Series. See the Texas Rangers, the Atlanta Braves next in the World Series. Hope you enjoyed the game. See you in the next video. First, we're gonna go ahead and see this ending scene. So long from Atlanta, I'm Ron Barr for EA Sports, congratulating the league winning Atlanta team, now it's on to the series. I'm going to skip to game 7 here. Look at the league standings. There's our password. Okay, why is it down to 45 digits? At the end of the regular season, it was up to 48 digits. Maybe it's because they only got two teams to worry about now, so it cuts back. See you in the World Series.